So it's a move that many have wanted to see coming now for quite some time. As a matter of fact, years. And I have talked about all of the division and the strife at McLean Bible Church and Pastor David Platt. Well, it looks like now that Platt is gone as far as lead pastor goes. But the question is, is the replacement any better? We'll talk about it. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, that's kind of my only option. I have highlighted now for years, as I mentioned, the division, the strife at McLean Bible Church, the, you know, the struggle between the congregation and the leaders of this church, including Platt, who has implemented a bully-like style. Sound familiar with a lot of the other pastors I've talked about over the past several years? Yeah. Harsh leadership, uh, trying to dictate to the congregation how things are going to go, pastors that don't want to be held accountable for their actions. I mean, this church has also lost just countless amounts of people over the years as well that were not willing to play ball with what Platt wanted to do. But if you if you look at, you know, set that aside, look at Platt from a theological perspective. This is somebody who has gone extremely woke especially over the last year. And some of the comments that he has made in the past about, for example, I can just tell you, uh, we need to elevate people of color just because of their color uh, to positions that maybe they're not even necessarily qualified for. Okay. Uh, This guy has also implemented, I mean, because why else, you know, why not? Cultural Marxism from his own pulpit. And, And when I heard the statement about what they were looking to do with McLean Bible Church going forward with the new pastor. It, it really shocked me because it was, <laughs> it couldn't be a bigger lie. So why did Platt decide this? Who is the new pastor? Are they any better or are we going to get a lot worse? Well, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. Really quick though, guys, if you could, I need your help. Now more than ever before, would you consider making a generous donation to support me and this ministry as my channel becomes increasingly more censored and more suppressed, you know, as YT is just, I mean, they have derailed me here, guys, in a major way. You know, I worked hard for seven years here. I built this platform up over 12,000 subs. You would never know it. You take a look at the views on these videos. I'm lucky if I can average 50 views a video. The likes are way down. The interaction is way down. Uh, You know, YT, they're hitting little buttons in the background on my channel, and they're never going to let me get the proper visibility and audience that these videos truly deserve. Um, and look, and that includes, you know, not being able to get ad revenue from this because you know, unless you consistently average in the thousands uh, for views on videos, I mean, you can't get a dime from here. So would you guys consider, send a message to YT that you're going to support me uh, and prop me up here. By the way, no matter how small or how large you can help contribute, it all adds up. It all helps. Here's how you can do it. One, simply click the super thanks button down on this video here which is how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Very easy to do from the main video page. Or you can become a premium member of Not By Sight News. Join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash Not By Sight News. That link in the description. It's a completely uncensored, unfiltered platform. All the videos go up there as well, like YT, except you'll actually get the alerts for all the content, which YT is not going to send you notifications. That's another big reason why these videos don't get a lot of views. But also there, you can leave all comments completely censorship-free. You know, YT, a lot of times, you guys might put a comment through. They're not going to display it because they see, like, oh, they don't like what you have to say. Well, we're not going to put it out there, and they'll pull it down. You don't got to worry about that with Patreon. And you can also send me DMs uh, if you want to, you know, get a hold of me directly. So check it out. Again, it's patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. So... Platt had kind of alluded to this several weeks ago in a video message that he put out to the church. Now, he had announced previously as well that that he was adopting, that him and his wife were uh, apparently uh, bringing a child into the home. And oh boy, I, I, I mean, I, I'll be honest, I feel sorry for that kid uh, to have Platt as a father uh, just because of his, his woke ideology and everything else. But he said that there would be a church meeting on Sunday, September 24th. And there would be a vote to affirm Mike Kelsey as McLean Bible Church's brand new 
lead pastor. I mean, I, I guess in a sense that David Platt is at least, you know, sticking to what he believes as far as elevating people to positions because of who they are, who they look like, or what they look like. And okay, I, I want to tell you a little bit more about Kelsey, but you know, Platt said this is this is going to be higher than me. Mike Kelsey will be the new leader of McLean Bible Church because what he said was that we need to get back to a healthy biblical understanding. Now, if you truly believe that, then you would actually preach the gospel uncompromised, Uh, not putting in woke ideology, uh, not compromising on certain social issues, which is something that David Platt has been really good at over the years. And you know, maybe this is part because he wants to spend time now with his new adopted child. Uh, the back, I mean, the backlash against him over the years. Again, I mean, that could be another part of it too. But again, is who's replacing him any better? The answer to that question is no. In fact, in many ways, Mike Kelsey might even be worse than David Platt. Now, they held the church meeting on the 24th of September. Kelsey's the new guy. Okay. Now, I know a lot of people that previously attended McLean, they've left now, but I want to hear from you because, you know, you wanted to see Platt go for a long time. You left the church a while back. But what do you think now about Kelsey taking the helm and Platt, you know, stepping down at least as a form of senior pastor? He'll still be around there at the church, but just not as a leader. Uh, I, I want to know what you have to think. And by the way, too, anybody else who, if you still attend McLean, what do you think about Kelsey taking the helm? Let me say this about Mike. Because he made comments in the past. This is their new leader, okay? He made comments in the past about, well, let's just say, he don't like white people. And certain things that he said about white people were so disgusting in nature about what he wanted to do to them. I can't actually repeat his words here on this platform for obvious reasons. However, I will put a link in the description And you can uh, watch that clip for yourself. And you can also read the transcript about what he had to say. This is the new senior pastor of McLean Bible Church who Platt has promised they're going to really focus on, you know, getting healthy with the word of God. This is scary. And oftentimes when disgraced pastors like Platt step down, you get one that's even worse that comes in after them. It's not somebody usually... More often than not, I mean, believe me, I know because I've been talking about this for years now. You don't get a better replacement, and it's sad. Some do. There are some cases where you will, but this is not one of them. McLean Bible Church, I mean, I don't know how you can call it a church anymore at at this point. It's nothing more than, honestly, a woke indoctrination uh, center. This is is Satan's church. Let Let me just be honest. Let's just be real. Let me just get real. This is Satan's church. Sad. What do you guys think? Chime in down below, whether you attend, whether you previously attended, or if you're just a casual viewer here and you want to offer some thoughts, you've heard about David Platt before, let me know. What I want to do right now, though, is something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed on everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we are in the last days, really the final hours. And Jesus Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That's something we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash news. 
or just hit the super thanks button down on this video here, which is how you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk soon.